Good morning, guys. Kelly from Mystical Madness Healing. I am going to do a reading for fire signs. Someone is in their head thinking about you, about the past, or this could be you uh, thinking about the past. Uh, let's see what this is about. It's okay to think about the past, but not stay in the past because then that keeps you stuck in fear alone lonely um you know sometimes if you you need to talk talk it out to people like uh, i i won't even realize but i'll call my daughter and vent and like within an hour i feel better all right so who's thinking about you from the past or who is in their head about the past well you have definite strength, patience. I feel like you are a, um, with the lamb here, you have a soft heart, but a, a very strong mind. So, you've been very strong here regarding things that you've been through in your past. I'm getting too. Because the strength card with the four of cups, uh, something happened in the past that you had to be really strong for. you. And this could also be like a, a Leo card. You could be dealing with a Leo um, while we're doing fire signs. And fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sag. So maybe you're coming up in your own reading. I'm, I'm definitely getting strong Leo here. Someone could have tattoos on their arms. There is an infinity sign. Healing bracelets. Oh, we got the high priestess here. So you already know. That's that's why you probably have the strength. Because you already know. Usually the high priestess is intuitive and all-knowing. Um, you don't get this card unless you definitely have done the work. This is embodying... Four queens, all four queens or kings in the deck. High Priestess, this could be male or female. Crescent Moon here could be pretty significant, which is happening uh, right now, the Crescent Moons. Someone could have red hair. All right, let's see here. Okay, so we got the, wow. This is a good reading already for the fire signs. Now we got the fool. This is a new beginning. This is taking a leap of faith. This is uh could be a new new beginning in love or a new beginning um into this high priestess energy. Um spirit. I I didn't even clarify these cards because that's what came out. All right. Oh. Okay, Spirit, please clarify the Fool. We got a Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this is uh, like sowing, uh, planting seeds. Um, this could also be like a, a burden. Um getting through burdens, breaking free, like a breaking free type energy, which is coming under the four cups. So maybe, okay, okay. So maybe you broke free from something in the past. Yes, I got a page of swords here. Uh, new idea, new idea, new project, learning, education, so, and that's falling under the strength card. So maybe you came up with a new project in this uh, time or somebody, somebody has a new idea. 
with the Page of Swords. Now we got the Ten of Cups. <laughs> okay, we got the Ten of Cups. I was guided to go to the stay with the bottom of the deck. We got the Ten of Cups under the High Priestess. So you may, you know, already know <laughs> that this is coming. Ten of Cups is, is generational uh, wealth, love, abundance. Look at the rainbows. Look at the... I was just trying to see. I never noticed. Is that is that a male and a female or two females on the card? Well, there there is a um, a lot of rainbow here, so it could be a same sex uh, type thing. But I'm not getting that. I just never really noticed that on this card before. It doesn't matter. This is happiness. This is complete happiness right here with the Ten of Cups. All right. Under the Fool card, I am getting the Devil. So maybe with this Leap of Faith or New Beginning, um... There there was um, toxic patterns or addictions of some sort in the past. This is in the past. This is after. This is like, yeah. And now I'm getting the five of wands. So there was probably conflict, drama, um, ga mind games, playing games, deception. That's probably what put you into that past, that thinking about the past here. Again, this is in the past, but it's important because if you did go through that, being the high priestess, that's probably why you needed that strength there. Um, Could have even sent you into a, maybe a spiritual awakening where you did get the this uh, education. Yeah. As soon as I say that, I got the Queen of Swords. So something definitely happened that put you into that Queen of Swords um, energy. This could be male or female with the Queen of Swords. Just uh, whatever energy you're in, ma more masculine or more feminine. The Queen of Swords is super intuitive and all-knowing, just like the High Priestess. Now, under the Ten of Cups and the High Priestess, we got the Nine of Cups. There's more success and happiness. Wow. And where there was a new beginning and and the devil, you know, um, maybe pat, toxic pet. There's the, there's uh, movement away f the with the Fool card and the new beginning. I'm getting two things. Fool card, devil, this row here. I'm getting moving away from those toxic uh, patterns or addictions or ways of thinking. Or, and or, the fool card is happening quickly with the new beginning. Because the chariot is quick, quick momentum. Or you could have, this could have all happened for you very quickly. Nope, I'm not getting that. I'm getting, because it took so long to, to get out, to come out that there is momentum and movement possibly happening now or soon. Okay. Okay, this is good. Because I was wondering, you know, you can't, the first card out was four cups. You're in your, you're in your thoughts about the past. Then we had the, the seven of pentacles, burdens, then, and conflict all in that row. Now coming out is the eight of cups. So you're walking away from that conflict or you walked away from something that caused you a lot of, uh, I don't know why I was guided or disbelief.
came into my head. I don't use that word too often. So um, that could be something you walked away from. Or with the Eight of Cups walking away card, that could be no more drama, no more conflict, finally. Yep. As I say it, the Three of uh, three of Wands, the, this is a journey card. This is another movement forward. And then we got the sun coming out in the row with the high priestess, the ten of cups, the nine of cups, and the sun card. This illuminates, and that's that's clarity. That's the truth here. So you got a ten of cups and a nine of cups coming out here. And I just got clarity, and now we got the ace of cups. New beginning under the fool card. Thank you, Spirit. This is definitely meant a message for some for somebody. Okay, two of wands is uh looking out trying trying to decide here. So or needing to make a decision and that's that's coming under the conflict card. Again, this is in the past. Somebody could be very uh, traveled around the world here with an uh, learned. Um, okay, here's your page of cups. Here's your offer with the ace of cups. You're getting the page of cups coming in for some kind of message of love here. And then we got the page of wands. That's a like a, a message that would come in pretty quickly or something that happened really quick. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This is the one right here. Okay. The Ten of Cups, I, I think I said generational wealth. This is generational wealth, happiness, family, uh, reuniting. I am psyched. Okay, I'm ending it there. Actually, I'm going to get a an oracle card for you because this is this is a very good this sounds like a new love coming in for the fire signs okay let's just see what the lover's oracle says now after we got that ace of cups and everything that is didn't expect the reading to go that way <laughs> All right, Spear, please give me an oracle for fire signs to match up and clarify that reading, please, for me. New beginning. New beginning. I'm, I can't make it up. New beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and love. Live your dreams passionately. New beginning. You could be seeing, uh, not white doves are hard to see, but you could be seeing doves. <laughs> Reflection. Give each other some space. Trust and have faith that things will work out for the best. That's a, This is a message from Spirit about this, this reading. Ooh, you have a secret admirer, too. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are le letting on. Okay. This is uh, These all came out for you, Fire Signs. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Wow. One more, because I had four come out, and I don't even know what this is, but I see a couple. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Hope this helps, fire signs. If you like the video, please uh, like, share, and subscribe, or you don't have to. I, I don't know why I always say all three. I'd appreciate even... Uh, if you had any questions or needed any help, um, you can comment. Hope this helps. Have a great day.